let's install this plugin, but I want to approach this information in such a way that you get a global perspective on how to install any plugin with OBS Studio, okay? The first thing that you need to do is shut down OBS because if you don't shut it down, OBS will not reflect the new changes that you're adding to the program. So shut down OBS, install the plugin, start it back up, and you're good to go. Now the end game with this thing is to add new folders to the C drive program files OBS-Studio folder. When you copy the folders into this directory, what the system will do is append all the new information into the folders. There, there is, is no, no deletion, deletion when, when you, you copy, copy folders that have the same name in this, this directory. directory, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. It is simply a copy the new folders and paste it in here and you're solid. So the question is, where do you go to get these files? And that's a little bit funky because they can reside in different places. Let me show you. Number one, you may see these folders listed as a download link within the overview page. That's number one. The second place that they can reside is from the go to download or download button in the upper right hand corner. One or two things can occur when you click this button. If you click it, in most cases, you'll see the necessary download files in GitHub. And in this case, they have a EXE file, which is optimum because when you download the EXE file to your downloads folder and you scan it with your virus protection and you double click it, it runs through a series of commands that copy the files over to where they should reside without you doing a thing. It's super easy. Let me go and show you another scenario. If I go to this plugin here called Image Reaction, if I click the download button, a pop-up occurs and it shows you zip files that you download. So when you download the zip file and you expand it, let me show you what it looks like here in my downloads folder. Here it is here. The contents of the zip file show you a data folder, an OBS-plugins folder, and a README. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to read the README file. It provides some instructions, but in this case, it's very, very simple. You highlight both folders, copy them, Go into C, Program Files, OBS Dev Studio, and I just simply paste them over and it's done. It's easy. It's super, super dead, dead simple. simple. So upon you doing that, restart OBS and you're good to go. Stay strong and keep fighting.